Welcome back to Tactastic. Today we'll be doing a upgrade video with this Dell Optiflex 3030 all-in-one series. We're just going to be swapping the old hard drive for a SSD, which I have right here. We're just going to be swapping it for a cheap ADATA SU650, which is a 120 gigabyte SSD. These I've had great luck with so far. Um, I've never had any issues, never had to return any, and they've all worked for a I mean, they're, they're all still working. I probably bought about 15 of them. So, um, this is pretty simple. You wouldn't think an all-in-one would be simple, but it really is. So, all you have to do is open up this little door here. That covers the stand. And as I dig out my toolbox, that I probably should have grabbed beforehand, all you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver for this. And there's four screws around the four corners of the stand. It's four little tiny little screws. They only get smaller though. And the stand should just pull straight up and off, just like that. We have the stand off, put that aside down on the ground. Now this is the worst part in my opinion, because it really does sound like you're going to break the computer. But all you have to do is just, oh first actually, I almost forgot. The CD drive right here. Make sure I'm still in frame, yeah. The CD drive does have to slide out. So for that, I use a screwdriver, put it in between the seam there. Just push back. The little panel's going to pop off first. Just the panel. And you should be able to just pop out the CD drive by... I haven't done this in a while, bear with me. Um, maybe the CD drive doesn't have to come out in these ones. We'll see. So to pop the back panel off, I usually like to start on the bottom. And just just work the screwdriver under there gently. Just like that. Really big pop. Um, and work your way around the rest of the way. So I'll go up here to the top now. Just kind of go around. This is probably being fast forward for you guys. Just like that. And it all just peels off at once. Pretty simple as that. There's the back tray, we'll put that down. So we're going to be replacing it with a 120 gig SSD, which is, you know, not a massive amount of storage, but it's going going to suit the purpose. So to tear out these, well, to take out these hard drives, they just pull straight up and out, just like that. No screws involved or anything. So there's this little pull tab here, just pull straight up, and it comes right out. Unplug the SATA connectors, just like that. Then we have the Toshiba 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive, old and slow. And then to take the hard drive out of the caddy, it looks like you just need to pull the hard drive. I mean, let me figure this one out. Yeah, this is a new one. Looks like it just flexes out. Just bend the plastic caddy outwards and pull the hard drive up, just like that. Discard that hard drive for right now and doing the same with the SSD, making sure that the SATA connectors are going to line up. Okay, so the label facing up. So to install the SSD into the caddy, I decided to make a second frame or second video here just so you can get more of a close up. It is very simple. I just wanted to make sure everybody could tell that it was quite simple. So this here is the SSD, of course, this is the caddy. This is pretty flexible as you can see that is the purpose of it so that you can put this SSD in there and it won't wobble around in the tray so anyway the SSD has two screw holes on each side as you can see and so does this this has two pins on each side that go into those screw holes so with the SATA ports power and data I can't get a hold of it facing outwards as you can see them there they, the pins just line up with the screw holes and you just have to flex the caddy just a bit for it to reach the screw hole. Do the same with the back. You push the SSD down just a bit and there we go. The SSD is on the caddy and then just push that back into the computer as you'll see. Just like that the SSD is in the tray. Now just reconnect the SATA wires, power and data if I could see it. There we go, just like that. And then push the SSD, same way the hard drive came out. 
line up the little pins just like that. We've installed an SSD in a Dell Optiplex 3030 all in one series. And then to reinstall the back cover, I'll just take the back cover itself, set it on to where it needs to be. These can be tedious to line up, just like that. And then just gently push around all the edges. It does make a lot of noise, but that's okay. Take the CD-ROM cover here, oh, upside down. And that, as long as you just, just work it in, the, there's two little tabs that line up with the CD drive. Just play with it for a second and then just push it in. Just makes a little bit of clicking noise and that's all set there. So now taking our stand, we'll reinstall the stand. So these little tabs up here on the front go into the PC, lay the stand down, and then we have our four screws to put back in to reinstall this little back cover here. Line up this big notch with the stand and just clip it in just like that, two clicks, and there we have it. SSD installed in a Dell Optiplex 3030 series, all in one computer, just like that. Not too hard at all, took us about seven minutes according to the timer. Thank you for joining me on this tech upgrade and I'll be doing more in the future. Thank you for watching and come, to, come back soon for another tech-tastic video.